It is finally ripped. In this video, I'll be giving you a quick update of my Garmin Vivo Sport after almost nine months of ownership. But if you're new to this channel, my name is Wes, and welcome to Backpacking Central, where we're all about hiking, survival, and preparedness. Let's get into it. So here is the watch here. It has been great for me uh, for the last nine months, as you can tell here. It's kind of hard to tell, but on the side there, there is some wear that is just cosmetic. Other side, cosmetic. Here on the bottom, uh, this sticker, which, you know, it's on my wrist constantly. It's obviously going to get worn down eventually. Uh, it's got some wear on it. Uh, on the edges here, too. A little bit of wear. Lit this side, not this side, not as much. It's more down here. Uh, and then on the back side, uh, this, you know, just from wearing in the exact same place there, you can see this is the one I usually hook it into. Uh, you know, so it has been, you know, just from resting my you know, hand down on various services and whatnot, uh, it is worn down. You know, it's a different, uh, you know, different texture too. This is uh, slicker and this is a little uh, more sticky. And then along here too, you can see, you know, the different kinds of wear, you know, along the side just from wearing it, you know, down here and just rubbing it and, you know, stuff like that. This is the kind of the part that bugs me. Uh, all along the edge here, there's some pretty good wear down the side. I know it's hard to see with the lighting. As well as on the top, these corners have like rounded off. Like this is textured, you can feel it, but this is softer just from, you know, just general use, running into things, hitting things. Uh, this is probably the worst from an aesthetic standpoint. This whole side has ripped off. Uh, I think it ripped at the top first, and it was just flapping here. This little edge was just flapping out the little... The, the, the little edge was flapping out the plastic, or not plastic, the rubber, um, and then it ripped on the bottom, so then it was like a little bridge, so then I just ripped the whole thing off. I thought it would affect the waterproofness of it, uh, but, you know, I, this, this has been ripped for months now, and it hadn't seemed to affect it. It does look a little ugly, but the worst part here now is it has finally, where is it? Right here. It has finally ripped. Not completely. It, the rip only goes to like here, a little bit inside, uh, but obviously these edges here, they separate, that side hasn't ripped, but this side obviously it's, and this will eventually rip uh, completely off, uh, and the watch will be completely useless, uh, which is, you know, one of the, desi one of the design flaws uh, in this, uh, the watch, you can't replace the straps or anything like that. Uh, probably one of the reasons it's so cheap and another thing I would and, and you know I treated this you know relatively you know well I haven't you know like beat it up but you know I do take this rock climbing and hiking and you know blah 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 uh, so you know it does get hit uh, when I'm climbing uh, that's why this I think ripped off and that's probably why a lot of this uh, wear has happened but you know it's it's a watch it, I'm not it's not like some fancy expensive watch I don't really mind or care about that. Uh, the only thing that really bugs me is this. Um, I will see if I can get a replacement from Amazon. I'll have an update video uh, if that changes. Otherwise, I'll be wearing this until it breaks. And I would say I'll be getting another one, but looking at the prices, I'm not sure. Uh, because looking at my original video, this thing was 120 new nine months ago, and now on Amazon, they're 190 plus shipping new. And on the Garmin website, they're 170. Uh, now that's new. I didn't pay 120 for this. I paid 50 for the uh, refurbished one. And looking here now, I just looked it up on my computer. The refurbished one now is still $75, which is 50% more, $25 more uh, for the same one. And all the prices are different, like the small one versus the large one, and the colors. They're all they, they're all over the place. The prices are all over the place. I don't know if this is because of quarantine and these are more popular, or they're just more popular and they're selling more of them in general and they can jack the prices up. Uh, but, you know, not too stoked about this. You know, I don't know. It's obviously it's nothing I can do about it, but I will see if I can get uh, this replaced uh, or if the prices come down. I, I, you know, I may buy that still. $75 for the refurbished one is still a lot cheaper uh, than the other ones. Uh, but I, it may be time to test and try a new fitness tracker. Not sure what that will be or if, if it'll just be this same one. I would, they don't even have it on Amazon right now, but I would be uh, inclined to get the green one, the lime green one. This Instead of this gray, it's green. 
Um, but other than that, battery life has been solid. Screen, you know, there's no dead pixels or, you know, no kind of response issue. Nothing wrong with the GPS. Uh, like I said, battery life's the same. Uh, you know, it works fine. This, you know, none of this other stuff has broken. Obviously, it's all metal, you know. I just would love it um, if they could have, if, if this model uh, would have the, you know, replaceable straps. Uh, but all in all, uh, I would recommend this. Yes, I know it is ripped here, uh, but this is a great watch. It has done me well uh, for the last nine months, uh, and I hope to use it. You know, I, this is actually ripped. It's been ripped for like a month now, uh, so this should hold up as long as I don't, you know, completely trash it. Uh, and if the replacement comes through, then it's even more of a reason uh, if they're going to replace it. Uh, every so often if that's even an option uh, that's even more of a reason uh, to recommend this but I do recommend uh, this watch uh, to people uh, even though it is ripped uh, it is still a great watch and even with the increased price as of now I do still think it's worth it so there it is Garmin Vivo Sport and let me know down in the comments what are if anything uh, I should be replacing this with I know they've come out with you know some new different uh, fitness trackers and watches since I've had this, uh, so I will be looking into that, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.